Hello and welcome to another tier list video. Today we are taking a look at one of my all-time favorite beverages and that is of course milk. You know milk is a rather large industry. You got different kinds of milk, different fat concentrations, different flavors, you know uh, non-dairy milk alternatives. So there's a lot of different options when you're looking at you know how, what am I going to do for uh, picking out a, a gallon of milk at the grocery store. Uh, so today I'm just going to be looking at how much do I like to drink each type of milk and starting us off we have the 2% I mean this is kind of the gold standard of milk it's like the most popular most common milk you can you know usually find um, and honestly for good reason I think it, it tastes really good the consistency is great and for me uh, you know if I'm going to the grocery store you already know I'm getting a gallon of 2% milk uh, I go through a lot of milk and 2% is the one that I go for all the time. It's really just hard to go wrong with 2% milk. It's got good flavor. You know, it's not watered down like some other milk types are. Um, flavor wise, you know, it's a bit different from whole milk. Some people prefer the flavor. I actually prefer the flavor of a, of a 2%. And for me, I really can't say anything bad about 2%. The gold standard going to find itself up in the S tier. Up next, we have 1% milk. Honestly, if... Uh, if 2% milk is the gold medal Olympic winner of milk, 1% is probably the silver medal. It tastes a lot like 2%. If I were doing a blind taste test, I'd like to think that I could probably tell the difference between 1% and 2% because it is slightly different, but it's virtually indistinguishable. So if there's ever not 2% at the store, I just go for the 1%. Tastes pretty much the same, still really good. 1% also hard to go wrong. So we got 2% milk, we got 1% milk, and now we got... 0% milk, aka skim milk. So you think 2% great, you know, 1% still really good, 0% aka skim milk, it's still gonna be good, right? Uh, wrong, actually. I, I wish I liked skim milk. Um, I remember up at college, uh, you know, back in the day, um, they had the little milk dispensers where you could put your glass, and they always had a, a chocolate milk, 2% uh, and skim milk. And sometimes the 2% would be out, and I'd be like, uh, okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get the skim milk. I don't really want a chocolate milk. I'm gonna get the skim milk, um, and I do it, and I, I just regret it every time. I think, you know, it can't be that bad. My memory of it must just be, you know, worse than it really is. And I try it, and I remember, just no, skim milk is not good. Do I still drink it? Yes, if I have no other types of milk to drink, I will drink skim milk. But honestly, it is a huge step down from 1% and 2%. It kind of just tastes like 1% milk, but like, <clears throat> you know, 60% water and 40% milk. So, not impressed with skim milk. Sorry for you skim milk lovers out there, but it's just really not for me, and it's going to find itself, unfortunately, down in the D tier. Up next, we have the whole milk. Now, I'm going to be honest, the uh, the whole milk crowd is some of the most die-hard fanatics I've ever met in my entire life. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some of them in the comments, but I tell people, you know, I like 2% the most, and they're like, have you tried whole milk? I'm like, yeah, but I kind of like 2% a little more. They're like... Uh, you're just wrong. See ya, whole milk's the best. And, uh, you know, you try and disagree with them, but usually, uh, you know, they end up pulling a gun on me or something. You know, th those those whole milk enthusiasts, they're, they're a crazy bunch. But I respect it. Whole milk is good. It is good. Don't get me wrong. I like whole milk. But it's just not quite as good as it's chalked up to be by the uh, whole milk community, if you will. But, you know, flavor-wise, you know, it's, it's pretty hard to go wrong. I would say the main difference is, like, a slight difference in flavor from 2% to whole milk. And then you can notice a slight difference in the consistency. I wouldn't say it's creamy, but it's like slightly thicker than, you know, 2% is. But again, barely noticeable. Whole milk, still really good. It's going to find itself in a solid A tier. Up next, we have chocolate milk. Now, I mentioned chocolate milk a little bit before and how I'd usually go for skim milk over chocolate milk if they were out of 2%. And it's not because I, you know, like skim milk more than chocolate milk. I do like chocolate milk. But for me, if I'm going to have something with my meal, I don't really like to have something chocolate flavored because if I'm like, you know, in the mood for a dessert or something, I might just have a glass of chocolate milk. But it's not really something that goes along with my meal that like, you know, if I'm eating my steak, take a bite and wash it down with some milk. Sure, it's like it, it's a palate cleanser. But if I wash something down with chocolate milk, it kind of leaves just like a slight, you know, aftertaste of, of the chocolate milk. Because I think the, the chocolate flavor there is a little bit more pronounced than other types of milk. So... It's not as great of a, uh, you know, thing to wash down my meals with. I'm more so a guy who, I'm going to drink a glass of chocolate milk after my meal as, you know, my dessert. Because flavor-wise, I think chocolate milk's really good. 
But again, it's just not something I'm going to eat with my meal. It's going to be something, you know, after. So chocolate milk, flavor-wise, it's probably an A tier. But in terms of uh, how often I drink it, you think it'd be a C tier. But because of that, it'll find itself in a very solid B tier. Again, I like it, but uh, just not something that really fits with a lot of the other times that I drink milk. Up next, we have strawberry milk. Now, I, I don't know why I like this, but I remember in elementary school, in like first and second grade, sometimes they would have like strawberry milk cartons, kind of like you see in the picture, although I don't think mine had strawberries on it. Um, and I'm like, I like strawberries. I'm going to drink strawberry milk. And I'm going to be honest, it was not that bad. Um, I liked it as a kid and I've tried it since. It's okay. Um, but almost in a similar sense to the chocolate milk, it's not really a palate cleanser like many other milks. It's kind of like a, a flavor all on its own. You know, you don't really want to be washing down, uh, you know, the rest of your meal with strawberry milk because it's going to make everything taste like strawberry milk for a bite or two. So strawberry milk, I actually think it's pretty good. If you haven't tried it and you like strawberry flavored things, I would say go ahead and try it. It's not really in that many places because it's not that popular. Um, but it's really not bad, honestly. I would say it's going to find itself in a B tier. I, I was thinking it was going to be a C tier initially, but you know, now that I think about it, it's it's still okay. I've never really had a bad experience with strawberry milk. Pretty niche, but again, it's, it's pretty good and kind of fits in a similar category to chocolate milk for me. Up next, <laughs> we have a uh, banana flavored milk. Now, this isn't something I ever tried in school, um, but one of my friends... Uh, gave me a little it wasn't a carton it was almost more like a bottle like you see in this but think of like a milk bottle and it was banana flavored um i'm somebody who if you've seen my other lists you know that i love bananas i love banana flavored things whether it's you know strawberry banana smoothies you know banana yogurt banana laffy taffy banana anything i'm really probably gonna enjoy it so i'm like banana milk this is gonna be good and i tried it and it was not great, honestly. Like, there's kind of like a hint of banana flavor, but it's more so that art of like heavy artificial banana flavor I got. At least in this brand, maybe there's other brands of banana milk I could try, but in this brand, it's almost like the banana from flavor from like Laffy Taffy, which I like banana Laffy Taffy, but it just doesn't fit in like milk in like a beverage form. So it was not bad tasting, but it was a bit off putting and like it didn't seem right that this was, you know, a milk. I felt like if a banana is gonna go into a drink, it either needs to be that authentic banana flavor, or maybe this would fit better into like a, you know, some type of soda or soft drink where it's like supposed to be that kind of sweetness, but it was almost like a little bit too sweet. It was like, you kind of had like the milk flavor in there and then you had the banana flavor. So it was like, they were almost like separate, except they were in one beverage. So it didn't really work together super well, I'm gonna be honest. So. Banana, it wasn't bad, but it's going to find itself down in the D tier, unfortunately. I wish I could put it higher because I love bananas, but the banana milk was uh, was not very impressive. Up next, we have root beer flavored milk. Now, I'm going to be honest, this is something I have not tried since I think it's got to be like first or second grade. We had, you know, for some reason, we had a lot of different types of milk at, uh, at my school. Uh, and probably only like a couple times a year, we'd have root beer flavored milk. Now, it didn't look like it was this jug. It looked like the strawberry banana, the strawberry milk carton, where it was like the small milk cartons, you know, the ones you get in school. It was like, think of like the chocolate milk cartons, but then it was like slightly lighter, more of like a, a beige, light brown color. And it was root beer flavored milk. And I'm like, I like root beer. Got to try this root beer flavored milk. And I tried it and oh my word, you guys, this, this was, it was bad. Like really, really bad. Like it literally tasted like somebody just mixed some root beer that was like uncarbonated with some milk shook it up, put it in a carton, and then gave it to kids at a school. I mean, I don't know who thought that this was, you know, something okay to do, but I tried it. And I'll be honest, I was in first grade, I drank the whole thing, okay? Um, but the flavor was horrible. And then I got it again, like a couple months later, because I'm like, maybe it was just that carton that was bad. <sighs> no, you guys, it was not just that carton that was bad. It was it was every carton of, uh, of rippier flavored milk. And yeah, I do not recommend this one. Uh, honestly, gonna be the only F tier on this list for very good reason. It's bad. I, you know, maybe there's a better version of Rippier flavored milk out there, but uh, I doubt it. It's gonna find itself, like I said, in the F tier. Up next, we're getting into the non-dairy flavors of milk. So for those of you out there who are lactose intolerant or maybe just don't, you know, wanna have dairy as part of your diet, 
these are the milks that maybe you're more familiar with. So starting us off, we have almond milk. I'm going to be honest, almonds are okay, but as far as nuts go, it's definitely not one of my favorite kind of nuts. So I was like, almond milk, I'm like, how good is this going to be? Is it going to taste like almonds? Um, you know, strangely, it doesn't really taste like almonds at all. I Had you told me that this was some kind of milk, almond milk would not have been my first guess had I never had almond milk before. But almond milk is actually really, really good. I, I really like the taste of almond milk. I think it's partially because in almond milk, there's a lot more sugar compared to, you know, like something like 2%. Um, so it does taste a lot sweeter. And almond milk is another thing like chocolate milk or strawberry milk where it really is pretty sweet and it kind of tastes like a dessert. Um, so sometimes, you know, after a meal, I just have like half a glass of, of almond milk because it's kind of like, you know, sweet. It's a nice like taste to leave in your mouth. So I think almond milk is pretty good. And honestly, you know, push comes to shove. If I don't have any 2%, I'll take a glass of almond milk as well because it's not really a flavor that, you know, sticks from, you know, bite to bite when you're eating food as much as chocolate milk and strawberry milk does for me. So I would say almond milk, I'm actually going to put it up in the A tier. Uh, I would say probably the main downfall of almond milk besides the, you know, the higher concentration of sugar is it is a quite a bit more expensive. Like this, you know, carton of milk is probably like half the amount of milk of this gallon, but the gallon of milk is half the price. So it's like, you know, four times cheaper to buy, you know, gallons of 1% or 2% milk compared to, uh, almond milk. But of course that's because it's much more expensive to make, but still a good milk either way. Up next, we're going to have soy milk. Um, you know, soy milk is another one that's, that's pretty good, but I found that soy milk can really vary from brand to brand. I've had some brands of soy milk where I'm like, this isn't really good. I would never really drink this voluntarily. And then other brands of soy milk, uh, such as, you know, the Silk, uh, brand, I think they do a really good job. I think it tastes pretty good. Not my favorite, not going to blow me away or anything, but you know, if I don't have any other type of milk, I'd definitely go for it. So it's going to find itself in a, I would say very solid C tier. Last but not least, we have coconut milk. Um, now I'm going to be honest, I don't really recommend this for just drinking straight up. Some people I do, I know, but uh, the flavor there just isn't really great. Um, I'm not somebody who likes coconut, but coconut milk doesn't really taste like coconut that much to me. It's like you can kind of taste the hint of it in there, but it's really not pronounced at all. So if you don't like coconut, it's still worth trying coconut milk. But I think coconut milk is something that's just... It's used a lot more in like recipes and like baking things like that um, just to drink it it's not super great it's not as nutritious as other types of milk so you know I, I could take it or leave it if I had nothing else to drink probably drink coconut milk but uh definitely not gonna be near the top of the list and just for drinking it's gonna find itself in the D tier well that's my list let me know your guys thoughts and I hope you enjoyed